to my channel my name is Monica and this is the Big Kid Monica YouTube channel so today I have a very exciting video so this is my June doll haul so all the pickups that I found over the month of June so this month there's Barbies there's Bratz there's Rainbow High there's pop vinyls there's a little bit of everything it was quite a big month for me and buying so my bank account is not very happy but I am very happy so I'm very excited to share it all with you but before I get started just make sure that you're all subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos I upload Tuesday and Friday every week so there's always something new to see so before I get started make sure you do that and I'll see you at the start of the video so as I said in the intro this was a very big month for doll pickups so I've sort of grouped it into categories. I think we'll start with Barbie because that's my favorite. So I got the Barbie style collectors Barbie. So this one has received a bit of mixed reviews online. Some, most people love it and it is beautiful, but the price point is a little bit on the higher end. So it is more for the serious collector. For me, I was happy to pay that much for it. I got it direct off of the Barbie website because I'm a platinum member. So I got $30 US off. So by the time I factored in that and the postage, it was cheaper for me to get it from that website rather than Amazon or something like that. So she comes in this most beautiful marble box and it's got the Barbie logo on the middle here and it's got at Barbie style, which is the Instagram handle for the Barbie style page. And what happened with this doll is that they had different variations on Instagram and then the fans voted for which outfits that they wanted to be included. So on the back, it has some styling information, as you can see, and pictures of her in all the different outfits and also some sort of aesthetic Instagram sort of looking photos. And there's no more than 20,000 of these worldwide. So uh, very big collector's items. I have not unboxed her yet. I'm waiting to find a spot on my shelf where she can go up beautifully because she just wants to be shown off for all her beauty. So inside, I'll open it up. There has been so much effort that has gone into the presentation of this doll, which I really appreciate. She's, it looks like this. So she's in the middle and she's got sort of like a modesty area because she's just in like a white top and underwear. But then on the sides, the outfits are beautifully flat laid, just like something you'd see on Instagram. And there's like this formal one in the pink suit. And then on this side, there's the dress and the leather jacket. And these outfits are absolutely adorable. They're high quality. They remind me of the early Barbies from the 60s where the outfits were such high quality. They've got working buttons. This one here has a working zip. Um, the material's high quality. They've got the like the little tags in there that have been sewn in to show that they're actual Barbies. A nice little touch as well is the little phone on this side here. There is, it's on the Barbie Star Instagram page. So it's super cute. So I won't open her up. I'll show you all on my Instagram once I've taken her out of the box and set her up. And I'm going to dress her up in all of the different outfits. But she is absolutely stunning. And I'm so glad that I managed to get my hands on her because she has been so in, um, in vogue at the moment. So keeping on the Barbie theme, the Barbie extras, I have all of them now from Wave 1. Wave 2 has been released, but as far as I know, we haven't got it here in Australia or let alone Perth, which we usually get things a bit on the later side to the rest of the world. But Barbie released a special extra doll called the Extra Deluxe, and she came with her the typical Barbie extra body and hair and clothes, but then she came with extra clothes and shoes and stuff, so you can dress her up and customise her how you would want to so i picked her up from kmart she was 45 australian dollars which is more expensive than the extras but she is very stunning she's got this light blue hair and it's done up in this style that's very popular at the moment like a really loose sort of almost like a bow the only thing with the hair when you turn it around it is sort of uneven and that is mostly because the hair has been pulled up into these buns here but there hasn't been that much attention paid to making sure the style looks quite even, like it's a bit off centre, which is a, the tiniest bit disappointing, but I think as well the hair on the normal extras feels a bit nicer, so she's pretty, but she's not as high quality as I expected, especially for the deluxe model. 
she's got these two bits of hair hanging at the front which is very popular now and she's wearing a purple and green dress and on that side it's purple blue and pink and then this little skirt is removable and then you can mix and match it with the other clothes that came so there was like a leather skirt some shawls that you can put on different shoes little ears all different things you can accessorize her with and then she's got these silver shoes on as well so she's pretty her makeup's nice as well it's like a green cat eye she's not my favorite extra but i'm definitely happy that i have her in my collection because I love the extra lines. I think they're one of my favorite modern Barbie lines that has come out. So keeping on the Barbies theme, Fashionistas. I love the Fashionistas. I think they are one of my top two favorite lines of Barbie. And this month I managed to find these in the Big W Toy Mania sales. So they got in a whole bunch of new Barbie extras. I even had a separate sort of display for all the new ones. So they're not new in respect to like America and that for, but for Perth, we haven't had these ones here. So first of all, I picked up this one here and she's number 147. She's got long dark hair. Her outfit is a little bit more conservative with the long sleeves. Her skirt is still short, but she's got sneakers on as well. So she is very, very beautiful. Her screen is beautiful and she's got this gold locket as well. I find that this new packaging that the Barbie fashionistas come with is so handy because you can reuse it. I use mine and I put clothes in it. I've got a few now because um, most of the extras that I had were in the original packaging but I have this one which is super cute also I got number 157 and there is one that's quite similar to her but she's um, more black and she's got a like orange hair but it's the same sort of style of dress except this one here it's like a tartan with stars on it a green crossover body bag which are very popular at the moment and she's got purple hair so she's also got dimples and I think the Barbies with dimples are absolutely stunning because it's not a normal feature of the classic Barbie doll. So I love having ones that look a little bit different and a little bit more unique. So you've got a more variety than just the normal Barbie type mold. And finally, I got this one here and she is number, her hair is kind of blocking what number she is, but she's from the, oh, here we go in the back, 156. And she is a beautiful beautiful barbie her hair is stunning there's only a few barbies that have this actual beautiful afro hair um it's also so soft when you feel it which i love in the fashion east is that the quality of the hair is so high her outfit is like this oversized varsity jacket that she's wearing as a dress and it's such a nice color and then in here she's got orange oh they're like yellow heels so i love the fashion on this one her lipstick as well is blue which is super cool and there's not a lot of barbies that have different colored lipsticks like that, except for pink and just the normal colors. So I'm very excited to have these through my collection and to add them to my Fashionistas shelf. So I think it's actually overflowing and it might be starting to be two shelves. But as well, I was thinking of doing a video just on my Fashionistas collection. So if you would be interested in seeing that and seeing my Fashionistas collection is something that you would want to have a closer look at, then comment below because I'd love to know if people would actually want to see it before I film it because it could be something fun, something a little bit different. So the next thing, the next category is brats. So this month I got a lot of brats, which is super exciting. So firstly, uh, earlier in the month, there was a vintage market in Perth that I went to and they have, it's mostly vintage clothes and collectibles and books and records and that sort of thing. But they also have a lot of vintage toys. And for me, brats, they're not, they don't fit the mold of being vintage, but they are something that was popular a while ago, but now has had this huge resurgence. So I found a lot of brats at that vintage fair. So the first thing I got, which was a steal, this case here, and it's full with brats. Um, I got this for $10 and while not all the brats are complete and not all of them have clothes or the original outfits, just the case alone is worth that. So this is the classic case. It's missing the pull out little files in there. I just added one that I already had, but I'm going to open it now on my lap and I'm going to show you the brats that are in there. So That's the pullout thing that I added in because I had it. But these are all clothes that came with the brats at the, from the vintage fair. And I got a Dana. So I need, I've ID'd most of them, but most of them have at least some of their clothes here. 
beautiful yasmin that are all in need of a little bit of tlc which i'll give them when i have time i'm looking at getting some new shelves so i can start putting my brats up because i'd love to display it this one's quite rough because i've got a lot of brats and this one's a little bit oxidized but still beautiful that one there and then this one here and then there's all these clothes and different things in there as well so that was a very good picker i was very fortunate to find that for such a great price because brats now are very expensive and very hard to get especially the old ones so that was a steal and to have a case to store them in absolutely undeal undeal unreal so speaking of brats it this year i think as most doll collectors or most brats collectors know this year is the 20th anniversary of the first original Bratz dolls and it's come at a perfect time when Bratz has had this huge resurgence and they're so in demand and people are absolutely obsessed with them. So um, I waited until the first release. So what happened? Backstory. What happened is they, MGA, the makers of Bratz, had re-released the original first four Bratz dolls. So uh, Jasmine, Sasha... Chloe and Jade, the very first four in their sort of original packaging, but made it a little bit more modern and re-released it in uh, mark of the anniversary. So I picked up two sets. I picked up one that I'm going to keep in the box and preserve, and then I picked up another so that I could get them out. I'm still in the process of unboxing them all, so I won't show the unboxed ones. Maybe I'll do its own Bratz video, but I'll show you the ones that I actually bought in the boxes. So it gave me such a throwback when I saw them. So here's Jade. And as you can see, she's in the original outfit, original packaging, logo. Everything's the same except here it says 20 years and it's a holographic print instead of just the mat like it was before. The back's even still the same. It's got the little blurb about the character and she comes with her two outfits. I've done a beautiful job at redoing the original brats because the outfits are so high quality they look exactly like the original outfits there have been some collectors who've done comparisons and saying that that's you can really hardly notice a difference at all which is amazing it's big props to mga because they've continued to release such high quality dolls um this one here so when i was younger i never owned myself any of the original brat dolls but my sister had this one so she was probably the most exciting one for me because it was such a throwback to a doll that we actually had and played with all the time so here's the yasmin i actually have a pair of these original yasmin boots but i don't have an original yasmin doll so there we go and then finally the chloe i think chloe was chloe and jade were my favorite too but i have to say i love all of the brats they are all so beautiful and their personalities are awesome. So I was very happy to get the whole collection. I had to do a little bit of driving around. Toy Mate had them, Maya had them. These are all Australian stores, but sometimes some stores would only have two of the four or sell out, but I managed to get two sets of all of them. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, the next thing, keeping on MGA, I'm just gonna adjust this. MGA has released a line of dolls called Rainbow High and they've become popular in the last year or so. And I wasn't quite into them, but now I have I was watching lots of YouTube videos about them and I sort of very much got drawn <laughs> into them. So now I'm collecting them. Um, the first one I got was the Sunny Madison and she's the yellow color. So this is her here. The premise of the Rainbow High is that each doll is basically a different color of the rainbow, which is pretty cool. So Sunny Madison is yellow. She's absolutely stunning. Her skin tone is beautiful. Their faces sort of have highlighter all over them, which is so cute and so unique because it really lifts them up. The hair is high quality. It's so soft and so long. Um, when they come in the box, their hair's actually sort of got some gel in it to mold it. But what I did is I combed it out of these ones because I wanted to be able to brush it plop properly. She also had two really long sort of ringlets at the front, like that Barbie Extra from before. But I combed it out unsuccessfully and it didn't look too good so I just sort of trimmed it but I'm really happy with how it came out um, and they also have two outfits this outfit that's on her this little skirt came with the fashion studio which is from another doll but it was I had to put it on her I've been changing their outfits like every day so high quality so beautifully well made and MGA have always 
had high quality dolls and they come with the stands which is really cool as well because I think they know a lot of collectors now love showing off their dolls and having them on display so I got when the toy mania sale came in big W I really wanted to get the fashion studio because it came with a whole set of different colored outfits for each doll and it came with a uh, like a one-off rainbow high doll her name's Avery Styles and she's a fashion designer and she's sort of more rainbow so she's got a bit of all of the colors so oh, I shouldn't have put it so far away but that's her there I've changed her up and she's wearing this is not the outfit she came in but it's what they came with so I popped her in it um she's got yeah this cute jacket that's rainbow all the clothes are really high quality and really modern and the cool thing about her is these hairs she came with two this one and a purple one and they're actually wigs so you can pop them off and then change their hair which is so cool so I'll just and they're not like flimsy either so they won't just like as you can see I'm obviously struggling to get her hair off I won't pull it off um but underneath, I don't know if you can see there, her hair underneath is like a pink lot that's molded to her head, which is pretty cute. And the final Rainbow High doll that I got is Poppy Rowan. And she's the orange one. She's still in the box. I haven't unboxed her yet, but she's beautiful. She's very, very fair. And she's got, I loved these boots that are sort of that butterfly effect. And like her little shoes here, they've got butterflies on the back. I think that's so cute because those butterflies have such a unique color and everything and I'm glad that they drew inspiration from that so on the back here you can see the other colors of the rainbow and she is from Poppy Rowan it's from season one same with Sunny Madison they're up to season three I think they've just started but they've sort of covered nearly all of the colors so I'm very excited to see where they're going but finally these aren't really dolls but it's things I picked up as well uh, one of them I got, this is a pop vinyl, this is Mr. Poopy Butthole and he's from Rick and Morty. I got him at the Vintage Fair and he was only $10 which is super reasonable for pops. And then another pop I've had on pre-order for ages, very topical right now, is this Britney Spears and she's in her Oops I Did It Again outfit and she's actually doing the move from the dance which is so cool. Um, I've always loved Britney and her music and... I support her so I'm very happy to have this Britney in my collection but that is all the dolls that I picked up it's a lot so I'm <laughs> a little bit overwhelmed with how many that I have and I'm trying to find spots for them all but I wouldn't have it any other way I love them so much I love all of the dolls and um, I really love sharing my collection with all of you and what I pick up every month and I know you're all so excited to see them so I'm so glad that I've got the support around me so Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It's a really fun channel. I have two videos a week. There's always something a little bit different. We do makeup and doll hauls and unboxings and sometimes Lego, a little bit of everything. So yeah, you, I'd love to, for you to join my family, but I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye.